Hey friends, it's Sarah. Welcome to or back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I haven't done this in a while, but I figured it's time. If you would like one, I'm gonna give you a virtual hug and a forehead kiss. If you don't, totally get it. But if you do, bring it in. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I style my new pixie cut. I cut my hair about a month ago, and I'll go ahead and link that video right here if you'd like to check it out. And since then, it's really just been trial and error of trying to figure out how I want to style this new hair and what kind of haircut I want, because there is so many different types of pixie cuts out there. This is the one I settled on. I'm really happy with it, and I've definitely found a good solid routine that I know works for my hair, keeps my scalp healthy, and makes my hair look awesome and makes me feel great on the inside. All the products are cruelty free because we love these guys, even if sometimes they don't love us. <laughs> All the products that I will be sharing with you will be linked down below in the description box as well as the top comment so you can shop at your convenience. Okay, before we jump into the video, don't forget to like it. I know it's like just started, but if you like me or you like my face, you might as well like. You could comment. You could subscribe if you like my face or you like my vibe. You could follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of me. If you're bored, you can follow me on TikTok. What else? My sustainable and size inclusive Depop shop is linked down below. Everything is 50% off right now because I am getting ready to do a big new job. I also have my merch link down below, which is super fun. I'll pop some pictures up right here. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, friends, I feel like showering with short hair is pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just gonna put a fun little song in here and you can just watch me dance around to One Direction. In terms of drying, I use this Diva Curl microfiber towel and I kind of get my hair back out of my face because this kind of smushes it down and makes sure the back isn't sticking up rather than using one of those just normal towels and like flipping your hair and doing it that way. I feel like that kind of messes up the back and yeah, this is just something that I found works really well and give it a try if your towel is making your hair super funky. I swear I literally only wear this robe in videos now. Like it's nothing else. It's like a cute little satin silk robe from Goodwill. It was $5 and it's like the best purchase ever. So I did want to mention, I just moved into this apartment and there's a fan up there and I don't know how to turn it off. So we're gonna have a little white noise in this video, if you will. So after I get out of the shower, I let my hair dry in this little towel situation for like 10 or 15 minutes while I do my skincare, put on my robe, and then I'm going to apply the products that I apply to my damp hair. All right, so this is what my hair looks like when it first comes out of the towel. A um, little crazy, but still, you know, it's kind of cute. So for my damp hair, I use the Olaplex number no. 6 Bond Smoother. It just helps reduce frizz and it's like a leave-in conditioner. A little bit goes a long way with this stuff. So I'm just going to open it up and like grab like that much. Okay, there's Olaplex. Next, I use this. You don't really need to use this. I air dry my hair because it takes so much uh, less time and heat's not good for your hair and I just I, it, I get sweaty when I blow dry my hair and I don't like it you know I use this because my hair stylist uses it on me and like maybe I'll use heat but I probably won't but just in case I use the heat protectant speed of light blow dry accelerator spray 
in my mind i like to think that it helps my hair air dry faster don't know if that's true but we have this it smells good it makes your hair soft so now i'm going to take my little paddle brush from aveda i use a lot of aveda products because i go to dosha salons in portland and they exclusively use uh, aveda products like i mentioned switching over to higher quality hair care has really made a difference in my scalp health um, i don't get as much like of that white crustiness not dandruff but you know when you scratch your head and you get like white stuff i just feel like i was using so many random products before and this like routine and like switching to better products has really helped so okay now that i have my products comb through my hair what i do to style my hair i like to have my little bangs forward so i'm gonna do that and i just kind of brush all my hair forward especially these side parts kind of figure out what you want to do with the back of your hair okay now we're looking a little weird <laughs> So what I do now is I take the scythe and I kind of sweep it behind my ear a little bit. You gotta trust the process on this one, I'm going on one. Just a little bit. I like to leave a little bit out, but the other part kind of sweep behind my ear. I do kind of need a haircut too. It's been like a month, so keep that in mind, please. And once you have like the general shape of it, then we're gonna add a product. Um, my finishing product that I do use when my hair is completely dry will kind of help uh, make it more round and less like square looking because it kind of looks kind of square right now. This is a game changer, but you have to use it so sparingly, otherwise it will make your hair feel disgusting. But it's so good. It's another Aveda product. It's the Texture Tonic, um, and yeah, it just kind of gives your hair a little bit of like pieciness not so much hold which is what the last product is for but this creates the PC part that i like up here do i kind of like the sides to be smoother and then the bang area right here to be a little piecier so that's where i'm gonna spray it go one two three and then i just kind of do whatever this motion is See, wow, that just like really elevated it. Pretty good. Honestly, this hair care routine is so easy and like obviously short hairs takes less time, but you don't have to do it in order for it to look good, you know? Like people are like, oh, I can just wake up and go. And I'm like, bitch, you saw me when I woke up. <laughs> no, but like I leave my house with my hair wet all the time and it works out. Do you want to say hi? Yeah. That's ghost. So now that I have my little texture, I have everything tucked, I'm gonna let it air dry. It'll probably take like, I don't know, 30 minutes to air dry. If you wanted to blow dry it, you could. I kind of like the way it air dries, especially with this texture tonic because it gives it that little pieciness. And I don't like blow drying my hair. It just makes me sweaty and overwhelmed. So I'll see you when my hair is dry. For the last product, you can kind of just like just be aware that kind of what your hair is looking like right now is similar to what it's going to look like when it dries so just kind of get it in the vibe you want it to if you want it more pc add some more texture tonic um fix the back parts you know and just just play with it you know i will see you when my hair is dry for the last product and then we're done and you just i'll let you be i know you don't like oh I love you. I'm in a video. I love you. <laughs> okay, so now that my hair is pretty much dry, it's it dries and like, like you know, I would leave the house like this, but it's not ideal. So I am gonna actually add some more of this Aveda texture tonic, just a little bit, because again, you could go overboard on this, and it feels like sticky and not good but if you just add just a little bit and then you just kind of do that thing like it's just so good that just looks so much better already i like it to be like pc and just like a little pixie you know it's a pixie cut i'm gonna look like a little pixie okay and i kind of like to make my 
hair kind of more like dome shape so higher up here versus like round i like the sides to be flatter and then for the last product i use i use the aveda men pure performance pomade this is to like kind of hold it in this does give you a lot of shine so you can go overboard on this and it looks like greasy this is what it looks like but if you just use a little bit oh my god it's been so hot here it's like melting i'm gonna use like that much if you can see sorry about my freaking climbing hands <laughs> and i use this to kind of just really guide my hair and where I want it to go. So I'm gonna start on this side and really work on tucking and kind of more defining those side pieces. This side too, I don't like this to be super thick. This side too. And then I take some and I this kind of like helps smush down the sides a little bit. And then I kind of put some back here to spread this out a little bit. It's just kind of like what you feel like, you know? And then I'm gonna grab a tiny, teeny, 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 tiny bit more. I actually quite like the way my hair looks right now. And I am going to add some more definition up here. And I just kind of take it piece by piece. And make it even more piecey and give it some more control. And fix my bangs. Okay, that's basically it. It's super simple. So yeah, that's basically how I style my hair. I will give you a little 360 of it. I really like, I just, I like it. Too bad it's like 9 p.m. right now. I'm gonna go to sleep on it. But for now, she's cute. All right, friends, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to shop all of the products a link down below in my description, as well as the top comment. It's hot girl summer. It's hot gay summer. It's hot guy summer. It's hot they summer. We gotta look good, you know? Mm. All right, friends, if you haven't done so, give a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and I'll see you in the next one.